Janus only does acts of Janus. Trust me. Hello everyone, Soprano Theories here and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. In the last video I made, like this one, was when we looked at who was worse in Richie April or Ralph Cifaretto. Many of you enjoyed that video, so I thought I would make another one. But this time, looking at the characters of Janice and Livia, as both were eerily similar throughout their time on The Sopranos, and caused Tony with an immense amount of stress and anxiety. In order to decide who was truly worse for Tony, I will be looking at a few decided factors. These are the acts that these characters committed, the characters themselves and their traits, and who provided Tony with the most amount of stress. To begin, I will look at the character of Janice, and it seemed as if Janice was upsetting Tony long before she moved back to New Jersey, as when she was young, it upset Tony that she moved away from her home and her family to pursue her life as a roadster hippie, as this is something that we see still affects Tony to this day, as he holds her accountable for abandoning the family and leaving Tony with their abusive mother. She fought it out with my mother and Finally took off, first minute she could. Then the trip's over and she's back and she's one of us and she wants her peace. Well, let me tell you, she gets nothing because I got the scars, so it's mine. And if this wasn't enough, we also learned that Janice joined an ashram and changed her name to Parvati. And it's discovered throughout the first few seasons that Janice married a Quebec man and has a son. But once she moved back to New Jersey is where Janice really begins to get on Tony's nerves. Right away, we can see how Janice works and why Tony would rather have her distant than come home. As she brings up needing some money for a new pillow, tries to sell Livia's house, and is conning her way into getting injury benefits. As if moving back home after being away for a lengthy period of time wasn't enough, Janice decides to rekindle her love with her old high school boyfriend in Richie April, whom Tony was certainly not a fan of. The two of them together only make things worse for Tony, as the two move into Livia's house together, and if that wasn't enough, the two suddenly and shockingly get engaged. It's during this time that there was some beef going on between Richie and Tony, and while these situations between the two were eventually going to get resolved or fizzled away, Janice only adds to the ongoing tension by telling Richie that her brother is screwing him out of large amounts of money and treating him unfairly, as a result of being connected to Janice. As this is something we will see Tony do later with Bobby Bacala. This only escalates the tension between Tony and Richie, as Richie then plans to have Tony whacked. While it's uncertain whether or not Janice would have approved or knew about the potential hit, but eventually the two sides come together when Janice shockingly kills Richie and leans on the only person she knows to help dispose of the body. This resulted in Janice leaving town for a lengthy period of time. However, she returns home after the news of her mother's passing, albeit she didn't want to return home because of the Richie April murder case. As Janice usually does, she causes a headache for Tony immediately. Whether it's Tony paying for Janice's plane ticket to arrive back home, Tony paying for the funeral that Livia never wanted, and Janice inquiring about her mother's valuable record collection, where she claims she would keep the records for herself for sentimental value. But we all knew, including Tony, that she was going to sell the records online. We watched the hilarious conflict take place between Svetlana and Janice, as Janice uses her prosthetic leg as a threat, in which she would give back the leg once she received the records. However, it was revealed that Svetlana had connections to the Russian mafia, in which she used two men to physically harm Janice, sending her to the hospital. This of course made Tony absolutely livid and sparked Janice into a born-again Christian spiral that we would see take place in the fourth season when she dated Aaron Arkaway. As if this situation wasn't bad enough for Tony, he had to retaliate to the Russians on behalf of messing with his sister. So we can see that despite all the times Janice has caused Tony headaches, she never learned from her mistakes. 
just like Ralph Cifaretto, a man she dated, and Richie April as well, as she always repeated her process of causing headaches for Tony for what seemed like every season. As time went on, Janice continued to make wrong decisions, as she secretly dated Ralph Cifaretto while Ralph was dating Rosalie April, who was still mourning the loss of her son Jackie, as this just makes us hate Janice even more. But it's when she decides to force her way into Bobby Bacala's life is when she doesn't really get on Tony's nerves, but rather she gets on the viewers' nerves, as she forces her way into his life with his children, all because she recognizes that Bobby Bacala is a decent person that is inside the mafia world that she has known and grown up in. But the way she does this is cringeworthy and creepy, as she messages Bobby's children in a chat room while spying on them. As the rest is history, as Bobby and Janice eventually get married and have a daughter in Domenica. The wild and wacky scenarios just kept coming with Janice, as she could be found on tape getting caught in a fight at a Pee Wee soccer match, which resulted in media coverage using Tony's name and his line of work. This obviously made Tony upset and earned Janice a charge of assault, but if that wasn't enough, Janice manipulates her brother into forcing John Sacrimony to sell his home. But not only sell it to anyone, sell it to Bobby and Janice, simply because of Tony's poor treatment to Bobby and Janice, as Tony won't make Bobby a captain. It was largely Janice and Bobby's fault as to why Tony was fatally shot by Uncle Junior in the pilot episode of season 6, as the two couldn't watch Uncle Junior because Bobby was playing with his toy train set. While she certainly would never admit to it, Janice was very much like her mother. The two were manipulative towards Tony. She insisted that Richie should be gifted more money from Tony. She forced her way into Bobby's life by scaring his children, all while Bobby is mourning the loss of his wife that results in him feeling confused and fearful, as Bobby had no choice but to lean on Janice for the help that came out of nowhere. And Janice as well was by no means cut out for parenthood. There's no denying that Janice Soprano was certainly a head case for Tony. Throughout The Sopranos' first two seasons, we could see that Livia was always causing trouble for Tony no matter what the scenario was. It seemed as if Livia was causing stress, anxiety, and resentment towards Tony ever since he was a child. Her reasonings for being so miserable towards her children are unknown. While she was certainly bitter towards her children, she was especially hatred towards her only son, Tony. This is because she resents Tony for only wanting what's best for his mother by transporting her to a nursing home in Green Grove. It's shocking that Livia treats Tony this way, as we find out in the series' second episode, 46 Long, that Tony is the only one left out of his two sisters that is still around trying to make peace with his mother. This is simply because Tony feels obligated to take care of Livia because he is her only son while he wants to take care of his mother by only wanting what's best for her by putting her in a nursing home so she doesn't cause any more harm to herself, hiring a caretaker, always inviting her over for dinners and parties, and offering to Livia to live with him and his family. But yet, at the same time, Livia can be seen feeling miserable, selfish, cagey, and manipulative towards Tony. She ignores everything and anything Tony and Carmela have to say, especially when they're both looking out for Livia. She can often be seen making negative comments on any situation, so we can see just how evil and spiteful Livia can be. Livia was extremely hostile and spiteful towards her children, often putting them down every chance she could get and neglecting their achievements and accomplishments in life, which is why she sought out to make her children's life miserable. It's discovered later on in the series that Dr. Melfi informs Tony that his mother possibly had developed borderline personality disorder. This is someone who has trouble maintaining relationships, often develops sudden feelings of anger, emptiness, develops feelings of loneliness, and has sudden mood swings. It's because of Tony just wanting what's best for Livia is where she begins to grow paranoid with her son. As throughout the first seasons, she can constantly be seen thinking that she's going to die but also rejecting anyone's help and growing stubborn with anyone around her, only for her stubbornness to come full circle and bite her back. 
As she can be seen forgetting about mushrooms on the stovetop causing a fire, she shows signs of forgetfulness and runs over her friend in her driveway, resulting in breaking her wrist on the steering wheel. However, it's towards the end of season 1 where Tony and Livia's relationship begins to turn sour. Livia suddenly develops an immense amount of hatred towards her son, and we watch it only grow when she discovers the fact that Tony is seeing a psychiatrist, and she later despises the fact that Tony is only trying to better himself by seeing a psychiatrist and Dr. Melfi to control his chronic panic attacks and to deal with his crippling anxiety and depression that comes from Livia. Because of this situation, she manipulates her very own brother-in-law and Uncle Junior as the two put a hit out on Tony. When the hit on Tony fails, Livia and Junior try to make peace with Tony, despite the two of them being in complete shock that the hit wasn't successful. Tony and his crew see right through Livia and Uncle Junior's fake attitude and care. And it's here where Livia begins to show sudden signs of Alzheimer's when she doesn't recognize her granddaughter Meadow. Later on, we watch Livia suffer a sudden stroke as well. With this startling news that is addressed to Tony that his mother had suffered a stroke, he takes this as a blessing and a breath of fresh air to finally confront his very own mother about the fact that she tried to have her very own son killed. This ultimately put an end to Tony finally getting revenge on his mother once and for all, as he was going to attempt to smother his mother with a pillow. And with Livia in the hospital, recovering from her stroke, she tells Artie Bucco that it was ultimately Tony who had burnt down his beloved restaurant in Vesuvio. So we can see that Livia is still trying to make things stressful for Tony, even with her in the hospital. Although Livia was released from the hospital once recovering from her stroke, to Tony, she and Uncle Junior were already dead to him as Tony viewed the two of them as stregs and devils and cut off all contact between either one of them. We learn later on in the series that she did show signs of being a loving mother. She was an extremely dysfunctional woman who didn't know how to love her children. Throughout her entirety on The Sopranos, Livia was an extremely evil and manipulative mother. But she wasn't just an evil mother, she was an evil person as well. And even after her death, she continued to haunt Tony from her grave. One thing was for certain, there was no escaping Livia's haunting or warped shadow for Tony or Janice. As to who was worse when it comes to Livia or Janice, it is sort of an unanswered question. This is simply because Livia had passed away too soon, as she was only just starting to leave her mark onto Tony, as she certainly would have caused a lot more headaches for Tony, as it's discussed that Livia would have testified against Tony via the stolen airline tickets, had the actress Nancy Marchand not passed away in real life. In my opinion, this is a difficult decision, as I feel both characters are awful in their own way. Both gave Tony a tremendous amount of unwanted stress that he certainly did not need as he was already the boss of the family. While I do think Janice was just as bad if not worse than Livia because she whacked Richie April, I think that Livia is far more worse than Janice ever was or could have been. Of course, Janice did kill her fiancé, but Janice never attempted to kill Tony like Livia did even though she probably wanted to numerous times. It's so crazy to think when we look back on the first season of The Sopranos and think that a mother wanted to kill her son, all because he was seeing a psychiatrist and had three of his captains hide their mothers in Green Grove. We certainly see just how evil and hateful Livia was throughout her time on The Sopranos, as she leaves a haunting legacy to Tony and everyone that was connected to Livia, even after her death. Who do you think was worse, Livia or Janice? Be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. For more Sopranos content, keep it locked here, right here on this channel.